Hi everyone, welcome to another telecast in Excel. My name is Nono and I just want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed to my channel and if you haven't hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon so you get notified every time I post a video. Now one of the things I do after I post a video is to check comments, you know, just to get feedback, you know. And of course, um, based on the last video or the last two videos rather I posted the one on highlighting the max and the mean on the column chart okay so I got a certain feedback you know I got one of my subscribers asking me if we could highlight um, the top end values okay it was actually this video highlighting the max and minimum in the column chart and then this was the comments okay hi this is really useful is it possible to highlight the top five or bottom five values and okay I'm like okay I asked he, him or, you know, her to explain you know better and the person says okay um, can you highlight the top three or bottom three okay so I'm like yeah sure why not you can do that so in this video I'm just gonna be showing you how you can do that on a column chart okay now but for me to explain that to you uh, I need to explain how to use the large function because the maximum function or the max and the mean function only help you to highlight the topmost and the last most okay but the large function can help you to get the second highest value the third highest value the end highest value okay so how do we use the large function first thing we do is say equals to large okay and then the first argument is the array okay so we select the array so now from this array um this K argument here is just you telling um, Excel that okay I want for example if you want the largest okay you put one okay and then you hit enter it gives you the largest if you want the second largest or highest you put two and of course if you want the third largest you put three okay and then hit enter now what about if you want the top three okay now for this argument you can't just enter it that way so what you would do is you need to use curly braces and then put one put a comma two put a comma three and then put the last curly braces number because we used a comma is going to spill in a column I'm using office 365 so of course it's going to spill okay now this is the largest second largest third largest now okay what about if it was going to be in a we wanted it to spill down the row so instead of putting a comma there we're going to use a colon semicolon rather and semicolon for that and then yeah so it's the same largest second largest third largest okay now good another function that we're going to use is the sequence function okay now the sequence function basically helps us create a sequence okay now the first argument is the rows do you want your sequence to go down the rows or do you want your sequence to go across the columns I want mine to go across the columns, so I'm going to skip the first argument and then um, the next argument is columns how many columns okay I want a sequence of say for example five so I'll enter five and then go to the next argument what's my start value I want to start from one okay and then there's another argument that says step okay but that's optional I don't have to specify that okay by default it defaults to one so it's going to step from one to five so it's going to go one two three four five okay so I close parentheses and I hit enter and then you see it's in the columns because that's what I specify what about if I wanted it down the rows okay so that means I need to put five as the row argument skip the column argument and use one as the start close parenthesis and hit enter so we have one two three four five okay good now we're going to use this that's why it's, it's here we're going to use um, the sequence function okay now for us to achieve this we will need helper columns okay now for the helper columns we're going to use the sequence function okay so I'm going to go sequence okay but before I do that okay I need uh, a cell here uh, okay let me insert a control so that it looks a bit now you need to have the developer tab um, on your ribbon okay uh, if you don't have it all you need to do is to right mouse click go to customize the ribbon and check developer tab alternatively you can go the longer route click on file go to options and then 
um, go to customize ribbon check the developer tab okay all right cool uh, this is just for aesthetics nothing more okay so I'm just going to on that developer tab I'm going to go to the insert and then insert this control okay so uh, I'm going to just yeah insert that and that's it and I'm going to highlight or rather put borders around the cell okay cool and then here I'm just going to put border and then change the color to this okay now I'm going to right mouse click and format this control I mean it just says current value um, I can just put one minimum value one because we're going to be highlighting either the top or the second and like that the maximum value uh, I'm just going to limit it to five I mean you can do as many end values as you want okay but I'm just going to limit it to five the incremental change is one okay now the cell link basically is the cell that will be changing when you hit the control so if you toggle the control push it up it goes up increments or decrease it okay so that's the cell cell value that will change okay now so we have one because that was the current value we can center it now if I go two three four okay the max is five that's why I stopped there okay now how is this gonna help us so we're gonna use the sequence function here okay and now since we want it in columns okay we're going to skip the first argument and then now the number of columns you want is going to be based on this okay and then our start value is going to be one and then we're going to close parentheses and hit enter now watch this because i have one specified that's why it's just one here if i increase you see two three four five so this is what we wanted now we're going to have to use a logic to do this okay now but what are we gonna say we're gonna say okay follow me if okay if this value right okay I'm gonna have to lock it um, relatively so it doesn't it, it can change down the rows but it doesn't change across the column okay now if this value is equal to um, the large okay large or the largest value of the sequence okay now I'm going to use F for again to lock it now what I want to do is I want this to be dynamic okay so it's going to be changing as I'm changing this index okay from 1 to 5 okay so now I'm going to reference this one okay so I'm saying for this first column if the value is the highest just give it to me if it's not give me a blank okay so I'm also going to lock this relatively such that it doesn't change down the rows but it changes across the column so that's why I had the I had it like that the mixed cell reference okay and then what is our value if it is true right it's going to be this value I have to also lock it this way and if it's not true it's going to be blank now the reason why I have it locked is so that I can just copy it across okay so I then I hit enter and then I send this down now it's only the largest value that is going to be highlighted and then I copy this formula all the way here okay now watch this if I decrease it to 4 oh we have an error here okay so it means I need to add an if error here okay so I'm going to put if error uh, okay cool if error I'll just put it blank there and enter okay so I'll send this down again and then I'll move this across okay good now so notice if I increase it to five you know four three two one okay so this is good for us all right so now we can go ahead and insert our chart okay so the first thing we do is just to select the chart range and then click on insert I mean and then just insert a column chart okay that's what we have here just a simple column chart okay so we can expand the chart a bit all right okay all the way to December okay and all right good the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to add this other series to our chart okay so with this selected we can just drag drag this okay to our max position okay 
now but you won't see anything here because um, we only have three so it's only going to highlight three okay but don't worry now all we need to do is right mouse click uh, yeah right mouse click on any of the points here and go to format data series and then make sure that the series overlap is 100 okay and then we're going to reduce the gap with a bit okay all right good and we're almost done um, we're going to we're going to add data labels okay to our chart okay so we're going to go to format data series click on series options and then we're going to add data labels okay that's one of the things we're going to do okay series options going to select this and yep add data labels okay outside end all right so we have that and we're going to close this and then we're going to add a simple title here so i'm going to make it dynamic so i'm going to do equals to top and i'll leave a space and put the ampersand concatenated with this and then put another space uh, and yeah so it's going to give us top end sales so if i change it to this top four sales okay now what we're going to do here is we're going to add a chart title and then okay come to the formula bar do equals to and select the cell and hit enter so this changes as we increase or decrease okay so um, now we have our chart here okay and now if we only wanted to highlight the maximum okay I can take away this grid line so we can see it better okay and yeah if we only wanted to highlight the maximum on the chart all we need to do is just to reduce reduce and reduce so we can see that this is the maximum okay now you asked can we highlight the top three so this is just the maximum okay now if we wanted to highlight the top two we increase the number to two and we can see these two are uh, this is the the highest and this, this is the second highest and then the, this is the third and this is the fourth and this is the fifth as you can see it's dynamic so you can do this for you know as many as 10 or you know as your data is okay and of course Microsoft has a tool that makes this extremely easy it's called Power BI I will also do a, a series on Power BI okay so watch out for that okay so thank you for watching that's how to do it